For those of you who are just new to my story, let me explain what's going on with this pergola or trellis in the back. I made this, I built it, I painted it, I varnished it, and I hung it on my property. And I came back a couple weeks later and I found it ripped off the wall, broken, and leaned in the way that you see it now. I made a conscious decision not to touch it, to leave it exactly in the place where I found it. The only thing I did was lift the left side and put that brick underneath it so that the wood would not rot in the dirt. Unfortunately, the woman that lives on the other side of this trellis has a long history of vandalizing my property. So I can only assume it was her. After all, the garden is locked from the other side. I reported it to the police. The police came and visited her and she denied having anything to do with it. At the same time that the police came to talk to her, she reported it as being three meters tall. As you can see, it's about a meter and a half tall. So I left it in place consciously, seeing what would happen. As far as this is the place where she left it, I decided, okay, that's where the trellis will be for now. We'll see what happens in the future, but for now, I'm okay with that. If you're okay with that, okay, let's go on from there. So today I'm here to build a low uh, wall, drywall. I don't know if it's going to be permanent, but at least to sort of delineate where the flower bed is going to be on this side of the garden so that I can start building on from there towards my direction. I took all this out, which is really a good sign. There is life in this soil.
count. That's my first ever attempt at drywall. God knows I've watched enough people do it on care. Of course, it's harder than it looks, but I'm quite proud with the results. It'll be good. I'll fill it in with some small shards. It's not quite finished yet. Check it out. Is it solid? It's not going anywhere. And it's gonna get back filled. So none of that will show. Next, it's not quite as good on this side. I need to get some flat stones. Anyway, it's not finished, but it's a start. Crazy how many stones came off the pile for that little wall. I'm gonna make a lot of walls here. It's gonna require a lot of stone. I can see that. And this, if you haven't seen in my other videos, right around this point, there's going to be a wall to there that you'll be able to go around the back of. That wall will be significantly higher, and then on top of that will be another pergola. So there'll be all of these layers of insulation between me and the next house. They'll be completely private. You won't even know what's back there. I mean, you can see the pergola is still crooked because I haven't touched it since it mysteriously came off of its moorings on the wall. So I'm leaving it like that for the time being. It throws your eye off of it because the wall is actually straight. Okay, here we are. Look at this. Huh. The elastic hose has been actually pulled off of the joint. The joint held. Okay, so it's obvious I won't be doing anything out here until I get cameras. Because even if I go to the police now, they're just gonna say, she's gonna say, how do you know I did it? The good news is my little wall seems to have held up entirely under the impact. That's something. Check this out. I'm using the garage now as a full-time storage for paints and tools and everything. They're not in the house. So from here, from the front door, all I have to do is push the button. Door is going up as we speak. I'm going to collect the stuff I need to bring there and I'm off. It is so easy and it was so relatively inexpensive. What a luxury. Thanks so much for being here. I'll be back next week with an update on the ceilings in the bathroom and on Gipsu uh, Sanida, the plasterboard that we're going to be doing back there, as well as a couple other surprises in the back level. So see you next week. Until then, subscribe, like, comment, all the things. Thanks so much and have a good one.